Greetings, all you lovelies out there. It's time for a vlog. So, uh, a few things, right? Uh, I've I've not done one of these in forever, and it's time to catch you guys up. So, episode six, season one of Faulty Frame Squad is actually in production. It's been in production for I, I want to say like March, April. It's it's been a really long time, and I've been held up because. I need Loz's expertise with Source Filmmaker. And obviously he's had his PhD to do and I've not wanted to push him on this. Uh, we made an agreement many moons ago that when he did his um, PhD, he would actually help me out with this one thing. It's really simple, but it actually really emphasizes the work. Um, there might be some few shots and things that might need to be retaken and things, but I'm really trying to push hard with Faulty Frame Squad episode 6. Now, one thing I'd love is if you guys were to, I don't know, potentially send this to Pablo or something, or maybe if uh, any DE staff members or anything hear this, again, I'd really love to, to have this sent his way and things. So, I amazingly got the opportunity to do... Um, We've got a video for DE with Loz's help. We we got flown out to Canada in March, and we got to work on the Sunny Samaris, Sunny Solaris even um, video, which obviously is available on this channel. And we we had a heck of a time. We were we were there for two days, so uh, I think we potentially travelled as much as we were there, which was actually hilarious. But it was it was absolutely phenomenal. Anyway. The big key thing is, and I can't go into detail of what we saw, we got to use the dev tools. And one of the amazing things was we got to fiddle around with the camera positioning. So in the Sunny Solaris video, you'll actually see this one point where you actually have um, the corporate Excalibur like looking deadpan. Maybe maybe a bit to the side, yeah. So it was like it was like here, right? So it was talking at the camera, and there was an ember that came out behind walked along, got to the edge of the platform, and then fell off. I can never do this. Fell off into the, this, like, pool of what's called coolant fluid, right? Now, that was only made possible using A, Captura, and B, messing around with the camera positioning. Now, in Captura, we have the opportunity to mess around with the, uh, the field of view or the depth, right? So this means that the Z axis, axis rather, can be manipulated. However, we cannot manipulate the X axis and the Y axis. And if Pablo is A listing or B, this can be you know, sent to him. I would love it if we could mess with it, even if it's just two sliders, you know, you know, X offset, you know, Y offset, and it's relative to the warframe. So we can actually deadpan center the warframe. Or potentially, we push the warframe out of view, and then we can actually have some clear moving shots that don't have to use the... Oh, what's the name of that stupid tool? The, um... Da, 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 what's the name of that tool? A uh, codex scanner or something like that. But anyway, anything, I don't mind. Be absolutely brilliant. Um, Tactical Terror League. Right, so moving on from that, Tactical Terror League has not concluded yet. Um, Joey wrote uh, the the second arc, so we need the sixth episode finished, and I will get onto that as soon as episode six of Forty Frame Squad season one has actually come out. Um, there are no real intended seasons for um, Tactical Terror League. It was just going to be arcs, so like six episode arcs, but. That was all going to be done in Captura, and I haven't had any time, right? It's, it's been absolutely nuts. Uh, speaking of no time, right? So some of you may be aware of this. My So I've got a new job, right? I, I quit my old job, and I'm now working significantly closer to uh, where I live. Before, I used to have a commute of an hour and a half, which meant three hours of my day were gone. Now I have a commute of about 40, 30 to 40 minutes, right? Which means I get roughly two hours of my day back, right? And I'm trying to keep on top of everything. 
This being said, um, I am looking to hire on a semi-permanent basis. Well, it's on like a video by video basis. Someone to edit the arbiter assessment videos, right? Um, I've already got someone lined up. They're going to give me, they're going to do like one video and then they're going to give me a quote, right? If you want to throw your cap into the hat, if you've ever done an arbiter's assessment video before and you're like, I want to throw my cap into the hat, uh, into the ring, my, my towel into the ring, whatever. Now, that's the bad one. That's the quitting one. If, you know, let me know, right? Let me know if you're interested on how to do this editing and we can talk, right? We can discuss. Um, this is something that I'm very serious about. I spend approximately six hours putting together an arbiter assessment and a lot of the time it gets interrupted. I have to jump and deal with other stuff like maintaining web servers and all sorts. Makes it very difficult to keep on track of that. I know that one of the people I actually asked to do them, they could just go done. I'm like, how did you get it done that fast? Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, that being said, um, I need capital in order to actually pay these individuals. And this is a very shameless plug um, for my Patreon. So I do a lot of opportunities. Um, I, you know, I, I give my patrons, uh, the the higher ones, the opportunity to be an arbiter's assessment. Videos. If you ever watch an arbiter's assessment and you see that sometimes a guest has a yellow name, that's because they're a patron. They're a high-paying patron, which is brilliant. Um, likewise, I'm looking to add in a two-dollar tier which is um, the patron, sorry, um, yeah, patrons will actually be able to get me to say various different things at the end of the Articulate Atlas show, uh, much in the vein of, oh, what's the, the Honest Trailers, right? Now, I've said the dreaded words, Articulate Atlas. Last week, I released a video called Articulate Atlas Episode 1. It is a parody sketch show making light of bad grammar on the Warframe community. And it is very much in the same vein as Your Grammar Sucks from Jack Films. And that, that was the true inspiration. So, I, you know, I th often I get messages and it's just like, I have no idea what you're saying to me. Like, genuinely, I cannot understand this garbled mess. So, I thought, you know what? YouTube are doing everything in their power to screw over content creators that are... If growth just doesn't exist, right? Um, and I want to make sure my channel can continue to grow, which means releasing more content more regularly. Articulate Atlas is something I can produce in about an hour. However, I want to make sure everyone's happy. I want to make sure everyone understands why I am doing this, right? As someone that actually suffers from a learning disability myself, I've put it on the other monitor now. Um, as someone who suffers from a learning disability myself, um, I can fully understand why people, you know, may take offense to why i'm saying some of that stuff like I've, I've had criticism like oh my god you read the topics on 10 o'clock so poorly and i'm like yeah um it's because it's not white writing on a black background since that's changed my reading of them has gone so much better until i fumble right so that being said i put up a twitter poll about articulate atlas and saying like i want to make sure everyone's happy and I came up with a list of different opportunities, so different things to do. And by far, the winning one is do a disclaimer at the start of the video. So I'm going to read out the disclaimer and I'm going to put it in text on the, the video now-ish. And I want you to tell me to add parts in, remove parts, so on and so forth in the comments. 
I will take them under serious consideration. And, you know, nothing, nothing stupid. And if, you know, I want to make this disclaimer as clear as possible that I'm not intending to do this by any harm, right? This video is a parody of comments taken from the Warframe community used to make a fun and entertaining video. At no time during the video is there the intention to make light of any topic, language barrier issues, or learning disability. I'm out to make an entertaining show and not insult anyone. Also, these opinions that I'm narrating are in no way, shape, or form my own. Anyway, if there's any additions that you actually want to have or corrections, you know, please let me know in the comment section and I will adjust the the disclaimer at the beginning. That was probably like the, I don't know, I want to say the 15th attempt that I actually, that you actually got to sit here because like I kept on screwing up. Anyway, um, so that the reason why I'm doing the Articular Atlas Case I haven't already said it is YouTube have changed their search algorithm they, they have gone out of their way to I don't know make it harder for people that aren't able to release content uh, frequently enough to not grow right so if you're releasing videos once a day twice a day once every other day then you're sorted you're golden um, you can grow. Whereas if you are someone like myself who is only really able to do two, maybe three videos a week, growth is really stunted. And I don't know why. You, you go do a search on the, the YouTube uh, search page um, for Warframe and you'll get videos that are like five minutes old or five years old. There, there is nothing in between. Like, why why isn't there anything that is last week or the week before it is literally hours or months i don't know why they do this i genuinely don't it makes it difficult you can't grow anyway that's besides the point so i'm doing the articulate atlas stuff i'd like to do the articulate atlas stuff because it will help my channel grow it will help sustain the channel and it will only take me about an hour, hour and a half to actually produce something so simplistic. I do intend to fully expand Articular Atlas to introduce additional characters, maybe like Charismatic Chroma or something like that. And, you know, just... But I, I, need, I need a good foundation first. So I'm happy to do the show. I don't want to offend anyone. So getting the foundation done first is super important to me. I don't want... Right, last but not least, 10 o'clock. So that's going strong. That's, that's like 250 done. 260 is the fifth year anniversary. And we're planning on doing it a long one. So the episode 150 was 100... Sorry, it was 100. Was... Three hours and 45 minutes. We are looking to do something similar, right? We're not looking to break the bank. We're not looking to break the mold. Um, we're potentially going to live stream it. I don't entirely know, but we are looking to have three guests, um, hopefully some meaty topics. And yeah, just, just have a, a whale of a time. Anyway, so we are also looking to have prizes, I believe. But more details will come into the future. So it's like five weeks away. So I'll, I'll start the announcements relatively soon. Um, that's about it for this episode, uh, or this vlog. So I think I've covered everything. Um, quality Frame Squad, Tactical Terror League, the, the Machinima camera stuff. Um, yeah, cool. Right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to actually listen to this. Um, and any comments, any criticisms, any feedback, please leave it into the comments below. I may not reply, but I will certainly read them. Um, I, I genuinely do. Anyway, right, well, thank you very much, and yeah, cool boy.